From Far Away, a story by Robert Munch and Salston Asgar, or by Rebecca Green. Dear Reading Buddy, My name is Sao San. I am seven years old and I am in grade two now. I came from far away. The place we used to live was very nice, but then a war started. There's no food, my father said. We are getting shot at, my mother said. Bombs made holes in the wall. One day, a really big boom made our roof fall in. We have to leave, my father and mother said. My father left first and was gone for a long time. Then a letter came with plane tickets to a new country. I didn't like the plane. It made me sick. Nobody wanted to sit near me. In the new country, my father took me to school and left me there. He said, be good and listen to your teacher. I listened to my teacher, only I didn't know what she was saying because she did not talk right. Other kids tried to talk to me, but I was not able to answer. I didn't speak English. I had a buddy who showed me the school and played with me at recess, but she didn't understand when I tried to teach her a rock game I knew from back home. At first, I didn't know how to say, I want to go to the washroom, so I crawled out the door when the teacher wasn't looking. When I came back, I waited outside the door until someone opened it. Then I crawled back to my desk. Once, I crawled to the washroom and saw a paper skeleton in the hallway. Only, I did not know what it was. I thought the skeleton was evil. I thought that people were going to start shooting each other here. I screamed a very good scream. Everybody came running. They thought someone was being killed in the bathroom. My teacher tried to tell me that the skeleton wasn't real. It was made of paper and was going to be used in the school play. I didn't understand. She jumped up and down and danced around to explain that the play was just for fun. But I thought the skeleton made her crazy, and I screamed louder. Ah! My teacher hugged me, just like my mother would. I didn't know how to say, I'm so scared. But the big tear that went out of my eye said it for me. I decided that the whole school was crazy, and I did not want to stay there. But my father said I had to. He said that people here are not going to start shooting each other. I had bad dreams about skeletons for a long time after that. But finally, I began to talk little by little. I learned enough English to make friends, and school started to be fun. Now I am in grade two, and I'm the best reader and speller in the class. I read and write a lot of stories. The teacher is now complaining that I'm never quiet. So far, my favorite part of grade two is the trip our class took to the zoo. We got to see the pandas and monkeys and eat pizza and nobody shot at us the whole time. I decided that my new country is a nice place. I changed my name from Sao San to Susan, but my mother told me to change it back. My teacher moved from our school. I saw her in the mall once and ran to her and hugged her. She was my first teacher in this country, and she helped me a lot. Where are you from reading, buddy? Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed the story. If you like it, please give a thumbs up or share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. Have a great day and see you in my next video.